FC away, and we started with our revenge for the 2008 FA Trophy final. Um, after drawing about what felt like 20 games in a row, we finally got the win. And it was a comfortable win. So technically now we're unbeaten in a lot of games, apart from the FA Cup, obviously against Charlton. Uh, but Jaden Williams, he's been a revelation. Look at that, look at 3-0. Great win at Absolute. Altering at home, got off to a terrible start when that keeper literally put Mike Fond up through and he scored 1-0. Past Sean McDonald. And McGavin, <coughs> dead ball specialist, mate. 1-1. One, one. The wrong guy. But a 92nd minute, look at this. Long ball forward, beautiful ball. Look at that touch. Look at that control. Absolute scenes. Jaden Williams, what a hero. Look at that. We did not play to our best for a while that game. We are absolutely piled on at the end. And we didn't have a good game at all. Um, but 2-1 on win. Back-to-back -back wins now. Still third in the league. Next game was huge, though. We went to top of the table. Yeovil and on BT Sport on the telly game. A 1-0 header. 1-0 header? 1-0 win by a header by Brian Woe. Woe. I don't know how you spell his name. Sean McDonald. Masterclass. 1-0 win at Yeovil. We've cut their lead as well. Cut their lead. Rex and into the title race now, as I'll show you after this game. Now, for 87 minutes of this game against South End, we were very dominant. In fifth minute... Your man scored again. He's unbelievable. He's definitely replaced good wins goals we missed on last season. Uh, he was just sat in the Stoke Reserves right now. It's annoying. They didn't let me come have another go or he didn't go elsewhere. Ricard scored. I do like that, though. I do like how you can't just have players on loan for like four years in a row. Marshall piping up as well with 3-0 up in like 20 minutes. And the 85th minute all just changed a bit. South End seemed to what appeared to be a consolation combo at 3-1. Then the 90th minute, um, they had another chance. Ralph brought it down. And Reed, not the Reed, made it 3 2. Um, but we would hold on to win. And that puts us at the start of December just off the top of a game in hand. So technically, we could win that game in hand. But winning against the Oval was very crucial. Wrexham, so Wrexham surely got to do it. Surely they've got to do it. I can't believe they didn't go up last time. Uh, Notts County went up, didn't they? Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's going well, though. And this guy is unbelievable. What a sign in. 14 goals in 18 league games, two in the cup, free transfer. You're looking at a nice bit of profit there. Sadly, though, we blew that chance as we went to Solio Moors and in the 83rd minute, it's a long ball forward. Can see us to a 1-0 really disappointing defeat, but we've got to bounce on. Bounce on, kick on. The arrow just didn't play well. Williams had a bit of a mare. Very frustrating. However, Hartley Paul Way gave us a good chance of revenge of the darkest day of my life. Uh, but we went 1-0 up. Uh, with 10 men we had in this game, but that was later on, to be fair. Uh, White play in, just two lovely crosses in. Nice bit that we can play this sort of football, different kind of football when it's raining, when it's in the winter. Um, you can't just play a Pep Guardiola version, a long non-league version of that all the time. But Hollywood did get one back to make it end nervy, but we held on to win with 10 men. Um, yeah, ben White got sent off and they missed a penalty in the um, last chance. McDonald saved it. No, I think in it was. Right. Macca saved it, yeah. That was up to the scene. It doesn't get shown on the goal thing. But yeah, it was incredible. I was absolutely livid. Stormed out of the room, probably. And then um, Don saved it. What a hero. What a sign. And he's up to three stars now. So I've done well with the keeper situation. Then had a crucial game against Wrexham, who with Yeovil was sort of our title rivals. They got a, a goal ahead early on in the 18th minute. Really frustrating. They outplayed us. It reminded me of that last game of the season. Marshall so poor there. Just absolutely mixed up. 2-0 down. Hopeless. Like the last game of the season. Or was it last game? Yeah, last game in the league. Against them where just players off the park when we knew we had lost the title. Uh, but Corey Andrews, 91st minute, made it 2-1. Surely not. Of course it is. Marshall will give away the second goal. And 92nd minute, look at that. That is prime tall key, that. Got the point, crucial point in our title race. Delighted. Went to uh, Aldo Shot in FA Trophy then, one three one Nice bit of money. Brilliant performance as well. I made a few changes as well. Uh, got this guy in. It's under a free transfer. Uh, he would be my sort of cup keeper he's good enough to be a number one but mac has done so well so i can let the loan he go well let just be my number three but I'm not paying for him anyway uh but yeah decent to get two solid keepers in over permanent as well uh but yeah we won three one happy days gower did really well starting to come into team oneka scoring as well the third choice striker decent however we played our shot away again in the league and it did not go as well i was debuting a new striker signs i found target falls really good in the last game, but this game I've had a couple and it's been woeful uh, before. And this guy had a few right moments, you'll see, but it just didn't go too well. We're 2 0 down to have a shot. 
Um, but I'd give it a Joe Nuttall, decent striker, but he just did not have the impact. I don't know if it's with my tactics or something. I think oh, well, I don't, as you can see from my goals, I don't play a lot of balls into the box there in the air, I suppose. I like playing it driven to the back post. I have it on mixed, but a lot of mine has been driven. We lost 2-1. He didn't do great. Um, Crowell didn't do very well at all. Um, so that's disappointing. And we lost. And we lost crucial ground in the league title. And then went to Eastley, uh, a team which is like Talkie's bogey team in real life. And Hector Ingram, the Derby Loney, made it 1 0 within two minutes, which is really frustrating. And then just centre backs having an absolute nightmare. The other one's gone to cover, lost his man, Hector Ingram, 2 0, 36 minutes. And we're staring down the door. Down the door, is that the saying? Down the corridor of two straight defeats, whatever it is, bad. Williams got one. He's been better form recently. In the 80th minute, we lost 2 1. Back to back defeats. We've lost crucial ground in the title race now as well. So, really disappointing after we clawed ourselves back into it. Weymouth at home, we needed this game really badly. And within three minutes, Ben Winter delivered the ball and Worley put in. My youth guy, his first goal for the club. Remember the game, Scott Worley. What, remember the game, remember the name. I'm tired. It's like, and he, he almost got another one on the end of that one, but Jure got it 2 0, buzzing. This is the perfect game. I think Weymouth were bottom when we played them. Look at him bring it forward. He's got a lot of potential and they're all over the place. Jaden Williams scoring 3 0 up after 40 minutes. Uh, made it 4 0 with Wally. Got the boy in, got a goal and assist on his pl- home debut, his full home debut anyway. Um, Weymouth then did get one goal back in. This is a nice ball, caught a defender's napping, fired it past McDonald and sent fifth minute. Um, I sent the first minute and then sent sixth minute. Weymouth again scored again. What is my left back doing? What has Wyatt done? I don't understand that defensive line. We won, much needed. It wasn't even Wyatt, it's uh, Baldy Morgan went for Stoke. Much needed win. I had to play Hanson back and centre back and it. it didn't go well because we um, had quite a few players who were knackered. But um, yeah, 1 4 2. Trips to Oldham next, trying to well, not make it three straight away defeats. Uh, Mitch Hammery with a lovely touch, lovely guy for a long ball in the 46th minute. Made it 1 0. I've uh, him equalised and got the point. Really frustrating goal to concede. Not the worst point in the world, but the title race is looking quite like it's going to be a playoff season. Let's try and get third or fourth place. Next game was Dagenham Redbridge. Made it 1 0. Scott Worley, the man himself, the man, the myth, the legend himself. What a guy. Through my youth, he's a hero. And then Jaden Williams um, fired it past the bad Tesco meal deal, just ham. And uh, yeah, Dagenham got one back. But it We won. Back to back wins at play more to what we needed after those two dodgy defeats on the road. The FA Trophy came to a, a bad halt early on against Halifax. I did make the changes. I play Halifax and again in the league. So hopefully this time we won't lose in the league as well. However, this. Could not have gone worse at the start. 37 seconds on the clock when Harker made it 1-0 for Halifax. Um, just what a disaster. Nothing happened to the 64th minute. We've got the ball down. Gower, lovely ball playing in, I think, the number 10 role in this game. And Reece really slipped it in. Starting to find his form. It's been a bit inconsistent. Wingers are going to be inconsistent. However, Older made it 2-1 from set piece. So annoying. And then just to add salt to the wounds. And 93rd minute when we had players pushed up. Defence rubbish. 3-1 defeat. Not looking good. We're going to try and get some fresh faces in. No idea, but they're not really working. Scott only played number, Scott only played number 10. Gower's done well here. Uh, Lemon Ivan's got a bit of a knock. Torje got sent off. Um, Marshall didn't do great. After a frustrating January and not a great December, February started terribly when we just got beaten by this. We lost 1 0 to probably missed a penalty by a bloody keep a long ball. Shocking. No, no, Evans is back for this one. Williams has completely lost it, as you kind of expect. And I can't seem to find anyone who's good enough to carry on. I did sign that striker. They spent quite a bit on him. Really frustrating game. 2.51 XG and lost. We're making the chances, but we're just not finishing them. Darlington next, though, trying to sort of keep that season, keep the momentum, keeping the playoffs at this stage. But then they scored again. It's a banger from Darlington. Uh, so I had a massive go at them at half time, and it worked. Corey Andrews has done nothing this season, really. Off that goal against Rex, then made it 1 1. It's good against the byline, looking like that to go to a point, but sent to seven minute, nice long throw. Williams are so well, and just two goals, blast at front post, really disappointing goalkeeping from the other half. And we made it uh, sort of settled in the 88th minute when Corey Andrews, lovely play. Lemon Ivan's popping up, hasn't done much for a while. Made it 3 1. And then the man of Mr. Legend, Scott Hawley, played it through. 
Jaden Williams done well. Cut it back. Lemon Ivan's three four one massive win. Really morale boost. Win. Titles long gone. The main things we get in the playoffs and hopefully in the sort of the top three or four, so we don't have to or top three, so we don't have to play an extra game. Not that it helps us last season. Then went to fly, looking for our first away win in a while. Um, it started well. Jaden Williams finally got his goal. Uh, lovely give and go. Kept going, 1 0 up. McGavin made a man for his miss the other day from the penalty spot, made it 2 0. Uh, fly did get one back in the second half, but we held on to win 2 1. Uh, mistake by Wyatt, and I, I don't know what happened to my defence. Defensive errors seem to be happening a lot in this game. There's not much you can do to stop it. But we won 2 1. No, well, not. That's why Boldy Morgan is preferred. One of centre back, and you want very good there. He's okay. He's not amazing. That 